the last video I did using the uh, seven segment display, which I'm playing, whoops, playing down there. I, uh, I wanted to, I'm going to make an adjustment and I'm going to connect it up to this. Yep. I'm going to connect it to this LED matrix driver. This is sold by Adafruit. You can see the little logo there. It is uh, pretty cool. I'm, it's like for multiplexing um, LED matrices. So, you know, let's let's have a go at uh, putting that in there. I'll put the link here, but also in the, the description of the video. I have a diagram here for how you connect seven segment display matrices. So like four digit with a, col a colon in it up to the driver, the same lettering A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and D, P for the seven segment, and that's repeated across the four digits. And then each of the grounds have their own common, so or have their own yeah common ground, common cathode, uh, and they get connected to the common pins on the driver. So let's uh, let's see how that works. So I've wired the seven segment display, the single digit up to the LED backpack. Uh, the pins A0 to A7 correspond with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and D, P. And the two commons, the two common grounds would, would map either to the ground, in this case I'm only using one digit, so that'd be fine, or to the C0, the, the common zeros, common pin which allows you to differentiate between display segment you're going to use. The only other thing to do, I'll just swap this around, will be to, I've already loaded the matrix driver uh, code onto the particle photon. The LED backpacks are controlled via serial, so uh, over SDA, SCL pins, uh, D1, SCL, and D0, S. DA allows you to control the backpack with only two pins and then adding power and ground. So you need to ground everything together. So we'll do that really quickly and it should uh, work pretty, pretty nicely. So 3.3 volt going to the VDD chip or VDD, sorry, VDD, VDD pin. Ground will go to ground. Whoa. We'll just circle this. On the other side here. Well, sorry about that. So ground is ground. Okay. SCL. There is an actual SCL pin on this board. So we're going to make our way through the jungle. D1 on the photon is the SCL pin, which you can see from the pin pin out. And SDA is D0. And that's that. So let's plug in the photon and see what happens. So as usual, you look at the photon's LED states. <clears throat> we want it breathing magenta. There it's connected. And there's my display. Doing the same count as it had before with the same effect of the dot pin triggering on and off. I'm just going to turn my lamp off for a second, get better light. Oops, let's move this wire. But there you go. Count from 0 to 9. Alternate the dot. In the code for this, which I'll throw up here, the code for this is interesting in that we simply declare the backpack, there's a, 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 a port of the Adafruit library on particle. We include the backpack, declare the matrix as a seven segment, Adafruit seven segment, and then begin the serial communication uh, over 070 being the particular I squared C address for standard I squared C 
communication, each backpack has to have its own address. And then we can write to that digit. So C0 is simply the zero digit. And we say whatever the value is. And then to toggle the dot, you use a Boolean of true or false. So I'm at this point just toggling true or false to turn the dot on and off. And that's, that's all there is to it. It's actually really easy to use. I assume we're ready to start experimenting with multiple displays. I'd need to give it some more consideration, but that this is the beginning of using a single digit using the Adafruit LED backpack. Okay.